trust you Always true You are God And I need you There's no one else like you You're the G-O-D You're right with me Everybody and welcome to the Journey Today Show. My name is Timmy Bowties, and I'm David. David, what in the world are you doing? Isn't it obvious, Timmy? I'm juggling. Uh, that's not true. It's clearly some sort of camera trick. Camera trick, Timmy? I worked long and hard to become a master juggler, and here you are accusing me of some sort of. Shenanigans? I'm offended. JTS, this is David. Uh, yes, I did order the 500-pound barbell set. Uh, okay, let me write that down. Delivery in 10 to 15 minutes. All right. Thank you very much. Camera tricks. You've got a lot of nerve, mister. Okay, David, you really need to wrap this up so we can start the episode. Well, Timmy, you're in luck because my arms are really starting to get tired. Okay. Why don't you stop then? I'm trying to, but, uh, I need that bucket over there to put the balls in. Um, why don't you get it for me? Producer, cut the juggling balls for me. Um, the balls are gone. Um, oh yeah, that's because I put them away. That's weird, because I don't see them in here. 
Well, 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 would you believe they turn invisible when you're not juggling them? Really, David? Is that true? Uh, uh, okay, I, I may have stretched the truth a little bit. A little bit? <sighs> okay, a lot. It was probably hard to tell, but I was using camera tricks. <gasps> it wasn't hard to tell. That was my first guess. Yeah, you're way too smart to fool. I I'm sorry, Timmy. I, I shouldn't have lied. I should have been more like Jesus, and Jesus would have told the truth. Yeah. And not only would Jesus tell the truth, Jesus is the truth. In fact, that's what he says in today's Bible story. Wait, Jesus is the truth? Yes. You see, in today's story, Jesus told his disciples that he was going somewhere, but they couldn't follow him until later. But then a disciple named Peter said, Jesus, why can't I follow you now? I'd give my life for you. Yeah, seriously, why couldn't they just go with him? It's a good question. What they didn't realize is that Jesus was going to his father's house. In other words, he was going to die and go to heaven. Okay, but how are they going to find him in heaven? Did he give them a map or something? Well, kind of. In today's Bible story, Jesus gives his disciples directions on how to get to heaven. Hey, you know what we should do. Uh, let me guess. Read it for ourselves. You got it. In just a second, press pause on the video and read the verses on the screen. When you're finished, press play and we'll see you back here. was some pretty deep stuff. Uh, but where were the directions to heaven? I mean, like, were they supposed to turn left at the stoplight and right at the McDonald's or something? Um, no. There were no McDonald's. The directions to heaven were in today's Bible verse. Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 14, 6. Okay, so let me get this straight. Jesus doesn't just know the way and the truth to life in heaven. He is the way, the truth, and the life. That's right. The only way to heaven is through knowing and loving Jesus. Yeah. Jesus said no one comes to the Father except through him. And you know what? I think today's challenge will help us understand what that means. Here's what we're going to do. We've got three mystery boxes here. One box has a delicious prize in it. Yep, but the other two, not so much. That's right. There's something not so delicious in the other two, but we don't know which two those are. So, for today's challenge, we have to each pick one box and eat whatever is in it. Ugh, I'm kind of scared. So, who's going to go first? Rock, paper, scissors. Loser goes first. Okay, you ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! <laughs> I win. Okay, I am going to pick... You hear about that? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to go with box number two. All right. Okay. Here we go. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> How in the world? I don't even... Play ball. A baseball? How do you even... I'd like to find out. Uh, oh, okay. 
Oh, you just went right for it, didn't you? <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> that would... I don't know, Timmy. Any better? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say uh, this is not going to happen. Not so I'm not delicious. making any progress on eating this thing. I I'm sorry. I'm tapping out. Okay. It's not, <laughs> not going to happen. I mean, maybe give me a year and I might be able to make some progress, but... It was a valiant effort. I have failed. Okay. Let's see if I have any better luck. I hope you do. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. All right. <laughs> what? Uh, what is that? A baby shoe? A baby shoe? Uh, I hope it's as tasty as it is cute. A baby shoe? Here we go. <laughs> okay, didn't quite polish that off, but I have enough for two if you want to oh, share. You know what? I'm still full from the baseball. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, though. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> sure looks like it. Okay. All right. I admit, I can't do it either. We're 0 for 2, my friend. We sure are. Okay, so obviously we are not very good with our luck of picking boxes. I am very curious. There is only one box that we didn't pick. That would be box number three. Mm -hmm. Do you want to see what's... Let's take Dang a look. It. Oh my it's got to be better than our two I was, and oh, okay, okay. What? Oh, no. 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 Let me out. This is so unfair. You know why? Because I was so close to picking this one. Seriously, I was just about to pick this box. Mm. Ah. It is so much better than mine. But that's kind of the point. Think of it like this. In that challenge, there was only one box with a delicious prize. But what if someone told you that box number two had a delicious prize? Would that be true? Uh, I can tell you from experience, no way. But what if they had said box number one had had a delicious prize? <laughs> Would that be true? You kidding me? I still have a bad taste in my mouth. <laughs> no way. But what if someone told you that all three boxes had a delicious prize? Would that be true? No, not a chance. Only... Box number three had a delicious prize in it. The other two boxes, well, not, not so, so much. much. Believe it or not, that kind of shows us what John 14, 6 is talking about. There's only one way to heaven, and that's through believing in and following Jesus. That's right. Uh, some people might say you can get to heaven by believing in a different God or practicing a different religion. But that's not true. Some people might say you can get to heaven by treating people nice and being a really good person. But that's not true. Some people might say you can get to heaven no matter what you believe and no matter what you do. But that's not true either. No. Jesus said no one comes to the Father except through me. Right. In the same way that there was only one way to get a delicious prize, there's only one way to get forever life in heaven with God, and that is through Jesus. Hey, you know what? That makes me think of a question. What do you think you have to do to become a follower of Jesus? Press pause. And discuss.
everybody, welcome back. Here's the good news. Although there's only one way to heaven, anyone can choose it. In fact, it's as easy as ABC. That's right. The A stands for admit. If you want to follow Jesus, you have to admit that you sin and ask God for forgiveness. God loves you so much, he'll forgive you no matter how much you've sinned. The B stands for believe. Believe in Jesus and that he died for your sins. When we believe Jesus died for our sins, we can be forgiven. And finally, the C stands for choose. Choose to follow Jesus for the rest of your life. Choose to live your life the way he wants you to instead of how you want to. If you understand what it means to follow Jesus and you want to become a Christian for the first time, you can pray to do that right now. Yeah, and if you need help, you can ask your parents or a leader at your church. For sure. Uh, just know that following Jesus is the best decision you could ever make. Well, folks, I had a lot of fun today. I hope you did too, and I hope you join us again next week. My delivery is here. Uh, bye, everybody. Uh, yeah. Bye, everybody. <laughs> we'll see you next week. 98, 99, 100. Oh, man, I'm so strong. Can you hand me my power juice, Timmy? Oh, thanks, Timmy. Uh, 106, 107, 108, 109.